Hey, Paul Talkers, you know what's happening this Friday? Veronica Mars is happening this Friday. It's back, Marshmallows! What? Hey, Paul Talkers, it's Wednesday, the 12th of March, here in the DC area. We are having, like, the blusteriest day. I'm pretty sure I saw Winnie the Pooh flying by, hanging on to the tail of a kite. It's been a long time since I've done a vlog post, to the point where I... <laughs> I forget how to do it again. I finished up the People of Lindy Focus series. Click here if you'd like to watch that. This Saturday is going to be my first day where I try to shoot some videos for the uh, OKC IRL show that I'm putting together. If you don't know what that is, a quick recap is this. I'm going to get real messages people have received on OKCupid and other dating sites. I'm going to have friends of mine who are willing to do amateur acting act out little scenes where they use the messages that they've gotten from OkCupid and other dating sites as the dialogue. So you'll hear people in real life saying that sort of crazy, crazy stuff. As I say, this Saturday is going to be my first attempt to shoot any of the videos. Hopefully I'll get enough footage that I can cut together like a three to four minute video. Hopefully the actual channel, youtube.com slash OKCIRL, will start getting fleshed out. And people will watch it and like it, and who knows? I have no idea. But I've got my fingers crossed that it'll work out nicely. A couple weekends ago, I got interviewed by Peter of Silver Spring Inc., a blog about our local area. He knew somebody else in the area who was thinking about making their own vlog and was a rank beginner, and so he connected the two of us, uh, and I met up with her on Monday. I told her over and over again, I am just a hobbyist. I'm a beginner. But uh, she actually wanted to talk to somebody who's just kind of at the start of their YouTubing career. That fits me. So we had a little talk on Monday where she asked me lots of questions about how I do my vlogging stuff and I tried to give her the best answers I could and uh, I think she subscribed to me so if she's watching this video, hello, name redacted. She doesn't necessarily want people to know who she is. But hopefully her series will come to fruition and if it does, I'm sure I will link to it at some point. I continue to be excited about going to VidCon this year, my very first ever VidCon. Hopefully I'll see many of you there at VidCon, especially if you're a YouTuber. VidCon was put together by the Vlog Brothers, Hank Green and John Green, who are also the entities behind DFTBA Records. And it came out just recently that one of the musicians under DFTBA's label had sexually and psychologically abused an underage lady. And after a couple of years had passed, the woman summoned the courage, the bravery to come forth and say Tom Milsom had abused her. Normally when someone who's not a celebrity speaks out about being assaulted by someone who is a celebrity, what happens far, far too freaking much is that people don't believe the victim and they blame her and they defend the celebrity and that shit's gotta stop. At least one in five women have been sexually assaulted in their lives. The real number is probably higher. If it were one in four women, or one in three women, it would not be outside the realm of possibility. Most of them never say it. They never mention it, they never come forth, and they, they can't summon the bravery to go against societal responses to that, which are normally crappy, crappy responses to that. If a woman is willing to step forward with her own identity and say, this has happened, it is never a lie. It is never a false accusation. It is so infrequently a false accusation that if you were a scientist doing experiments and the same number of false accusations came up as outliers in your experiment, you would ignore them because they were so rare. When women report being assaulted, it has happened. Support them. Stand on their side. Fight against the crap that happens to women all the time and is normally kept in the dark and in silence. Olga, I don't know you, I don't know the details of what happened in your life, but what I do know is that it takes a lot of bravery, and I believe you. <sighs> there has been some victim blaming that I've seen, and some deniers, and some apologists. What I can say, to my relief, is that most people who are associated with YouTube, DFTBA, Tom Milsom, Olga, most people are not attacking her and calling her a liar. Most people are being supportive, and that is an amazingly surprising thing to happen, and I'm, it makes me proud to be a part of this community, even if I'm just starting to get into it. I don't blame DFTBA for the incidence of it, because again, I think that it's the celebrity, it's the fandom that, that causes this sort of thing to happen, and be gotten away with. But I can understand the frustration people have because they want to believe that everything in DFTBA, everything in the Vlogbrothers universe 
is great and happy and beautiful and uplifting of us geeky, nerdy, nerd fighters. What I can do, if I see someone who is a legal adult being overly attentive to someone who is not a legal adult, I'm going to fucking flag that. I'm going to bring it to the attention of authorities. If you see that someone who normally has a bright and bubbly personality all of a sudden has their personality shut down, you report that shit. Speak up more. Don't let it hide in the shadows. Don't say, oh, I shouldn't speak up because such and such person is important. Or, oh, I shouldn't speak up because my voice isn't as significant as their voice. Or, oh, I should just keep quiet because I don't know all the details of what's going on. Bring it out into the public. Healthy interactions between human beings can be displayed in public without harming people. It's the unhealthy ones that can't be brought into the light. And that's why we need to bring them. I've been ranting like I know what I'm talking about, and I... I don't know what I'm talking about. These are just my opinions. These are just the things that I think. I bring it to you because that's what vlogging is all about. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please like it below. Please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. What are your thoughts on everything that I've talked about? What are your thoughts on Veronica Mars? What are your thoughts on OkCupid in real life? What are your thoughts on DFTBA in general and VidCon and Tom Milsom and Olga specifically and other incidents that have happened specifically? Tell me your thoughts on all of this stuff because I want to know what you think about all of these things. I need other people's opinions on this stuff. It is late on Wednesday night, and I need to edit this video and then go to bed. So, as always, thanks for watching! Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter.